Breaking news, on the 9th of September, Bundora announced that it won't allow investors to invest more than 1000 euro in one single month in their Go and Grow account. Ok, you may ask me, what is the breaking news here? It's all normal. Bundora focuses on stability and it uh, does not want investors to put more money as it can provide loans. Ok, it might sound like quite well for you, but for me I see some red flags. And I decided to share this with you. My name is Mehmet Kara and today we are gonna talk about Bondora. As you know, I'm also invested in Bondora Go and Grow. If you don't know, this means you're new to my channel, so you can subscribe to see more content like this. And if you find anything useful in this video, please like my video to support it. So as I said, Bondora announced it doesn't want more than 1000 euro from one investor in a single month from Bondora Go and Grow. On the one hand, this could mean, ok, Bondora focuses on stability, it cannot provide more loans because it has tightened its loan policy and it all sounds quite well. But on the other hand, the first red flag that I see is that Bondora is not profitable with its loans. If you ask me why I think so, Bondora is a business like every business out in the world. And what does it mean for a business when it returns its customers back? Because we investors are the customers of Bondora. It could mean on the one hand it cannot supply enough products for its customers. But on the other hand it could mean that the products are not profitable enough and the company doesn't want to sell more of those products. Let's imagine for example you have Tesla. What would happen if Tesla announced it will sell just 1000 cars a month and the other customers will have to wait for the next month to receive their cars. I'm sure that the Tesla stock will drop significantly after those news. It also reminds me of the communistical days in Bulgaria when we had to wait about 7 to 8 years to buy to purchase a new Russian car. That was off the topic. Now I continue. Like I said, I see some red flags and I checked the profitability of Bondora. Actually there are quite well blog posts on this topic and I will link them all in the description below. The interesting point is that Bondora is displaying the loans which are late, <coughs> more than 30, to, uh, 30 days to one year as uh, receivables and do they don't write them off for the statistics for their investors. But uh, what do their magical accountants is actually that they are changing the numbers. And uh, if you have studied accounting just like me, you know that accounting is like playing with numbers. You can always change the statistics and let the reader of the information be confused. So what I want you to do, go to the Bondora's annual report for 2019 and you will find this statement there. According to the write down policy of Bondora, receivables which are 30 to 365 days past due are written down by 60% and receivables past due for more than one year are written down in full. This means Bundora accounts receivables for themselves which are past due for more than 30 days as 60% written down but when the receivables are for their investors they don't write them down and this means there is a big difference in the numbers and I want to make you cautious about this. Let us have a look at one of the blog posts where the author has done a great job and adjusted the statistics of Bondora to their own policy in their annual report for 2019. First we will have a look at the Bondora statistics as they are displayed in their page. All sounds well when we look at those statistics. 46 million profits since 2009, since the platform was launched. Ok, let's do some magic and adjust the numbers according to the policy of Bondora. Now the numbers doesn't look so well. Minus 2.6 million euro lost since 2009. And I would like to go down in the different markets where Bondora operates. I will not talk about the Slovakian market which is not anymore part of the platform. 
I will focus on Finnish, Spanish and Estonian loans. The Estonian loans are profitable and they are actually the only profitable loans in, Bundora, in Bundora's portfolio. So they have made a good decision in uh, March when the pandemic hit to focus just on the Estonian market. I think uh, this uh, is the only point that saved Bundora to be stable during the pandemics. Because when we look at the Spanish loan portfolio, we can see a s almost 6 million euro loss. And what's the Finnish loan profitability? Minus 10 million loss. Just out of curiosity, I will have a look also at the Slovakian loans. The loss may seem not so big, minus 450,000 euro. But if you look it in a percentage, you'll see that 70% of all of the invested money in Slovakian market were lost. The next red flag that I see in this point, in this news from the 9th of September in Bundora is actually they have, this is a hidden way of increasing the taxes. Okay, you will ask me what are the taxes in Bundora? There is only one tax, one euro withdrawing fee. When you withdraw funds from your account, uh, you have to pay one euro as a fee. Okay, this might sound as uh, not a so high fee, but after reading the book Money Master the Game of Tony Robbins, I'm particularly sensitive about all of the wave, ways of taxes and hidden fees which are in our investment products. And you must do the same because just 1% fee can make your road to financial freedom uh, longer with years. Let me remind you once again the 72 rule. It means that you have to divide 72 by your return on investment annually to see how long it takes to double your money. If I do this for Bondoro Go and Grow, I will get the number 72 divided by 6.75% which is their return. We get 10 years and uh, several months to double your money. What is the difference if I divide it for um, Peerberry for example with 9% expected return on investment on a yearly basis? It takes just 8 years to double your money. So as you can see we have 2 years and 8 months let's say to wait to double our money in Bondora Go and Grow. So don't underestimate those fees. Once again I come back to my point because uh, I went uh, a little bit off topic again. 1 euro divided by 1000 euro, which we are limited now investing, uh, gives us 0.1% fee. On the other hand, if you could invest, but you cannot do it anymore, 10,000 euro, and then you will have again 1 euro in, uh, withdrawal fee. In this case, your withdrawal fee will be 0.01%. As you can see, there is a 10 times difference in the fees. But this is just my opinion. Let me know what you think about Bondora's new rule of the game in the comments below and how I made you a little bit more critical when thinking about in your investment. Now, as I promised, I will reveal it to you uh, the biggest minus of Bondora Go and Grow in my eyes. The biggest disadvantage of this product is that your risk is unlimited. I mean, you still have the risk that the, platforms, that the platform goes bankrupt or something happens it has happened to the biggest platform in P2P Lending, which is Lender Club. I will link a new to this uh, also in my description. So it could happen also to Bundora, theoretically. This means you have to wear all of the risk with your investment. On the other hand, your return on investment is fixed, but also limited to 6.75%. And this means your risk is unlimited, but your return is limited. This is the hugest mistake. It's actually one of the worst type of investment when you have an unlimited uh, risk and a limited return on investment. On the other hand, the best investments are those which have inverted risk return curve. What does it mean? It means that your risk is limited, but your return is unlimited. For example, if you would invest in Tesla, your risk is unlimited again, but also your return is unlimited because Tesla could go with 50%, it could go even with 100% up, but of course it could go down. What is the situation with your P2P investments? All of the money could go down, the same case like with Tesla, but your return is fixed. 
So that was all for my video today. Like I said, this one might sound a little bit more controversial to you, but I have expressed my own opinion. So see you again with my next video.